Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to review the newest uh, addition to the game, newest feature of the game. Finally, my season started. I am into the season of Stripe, my KVK. Uh, and of course, there will be a lot more content about this season, this season's uh, new additions to the game, such as heroes, such as events, and such as different features, right? Uh, today we are going to overview the newest one which just came out, which is a Tournament of Champions, uh, which is pretty interesting uh, event or feature, uh, which I hope and I think is going to stay with us in the future, right? Uh, first of all, in order for us to understand what to do and how to uh, get rewards, because this uh, feature gives us a lot of rewards, which is quite good, especially for free-to-play players. We need to understand the UI and where to go and what to check in order for you to uh, play the Tournament of Champions more easily, right? Uh, first of all, what we can see here is a ranking, which means <clears throat> there is a ladder uh, where you can see who which... Uh, player is going to have the high score and uh, who is top one top two top three which actually matters because i think um it generates the rewards for them and if you will be top three or top one uh, in the future or right now you are pretty happy about it right so here we can see the ranking about uh, maybe your alliance members maybe your ranking depending on your wish right um, after that, what I think it's the most important is about rewards, right? As we can see here is like different ranks. Uh, stone one, uh, bronze, I think this silver, uh, gold, and of course diamond. What's next to diamond? Uh, legendary one, legendary two, and legendary thing. Three, right? Um, you can see that the... Uh, whenever you're gonna accomplish the rank, whenever you're gonna be on a new rank, you are getting some gems. Uh, I think every next uh, reward is getting more and more gems, which is pretty good. And the, on the last level, you are getting uh, 500 gems. And what's most important here, you can see that um, like you're gonna have weekly rewards and seasonal rewards, right? Depending where you stood at the end of the season, what was your max rank, I guess, or maybe uh, where you're gonna be at the end of the season, it will be. Uh, giving you some pretty cool rewards, right? For example, if you are Silver 3, uh, you are getting weekly my experience books, some Silver Keys, and of course here you're gonna have uh, what's the best one from here, some Speed Ups and some Universal Keys. Of course, as soon as we are moving forward, we are getting some Legendary Token, one, but that's already like pretty good. Uh, legendary Tokens are one of the most rarest rewards in the game. Uh, of course, the later like Legendary 1 and Legendary 2 and Legendary 3 has pretty amazing rewards uh, for the new feature, for the new event of the game. Uh, 5 Legendary Tokens, 10 Legendary Medals and 10 Universal um, Artifact Keys. That's for Legendary 1, of course. Like There is a process on everything and uh, Legendary 3 is actually the highest um, ranking currently in the game. Maybe in the future we will have Okay, yeah, I guess we have uh, the last one. I missed that, actually. I did not see the uh, icon here where we can move another uh, row, I guess. Uh, here we are getting 10 legendary tokens, 25 legendary medals, 20 universal keys, and uh, 23 hour speedups. Uh, one good reward is whenever you're going to achieve this one, you are getting 1,000 uh, gems and... Uh, level 6 tactical manuals. I have actually never seen level 6 uh, tactical manuals. Uh, but yeah, that's the, the weekly rewards you are going to get. And weekly uh, getting some legendary medals is a pretty good idea if you ask me. Because uh, you will be able to get more stars to your legendary heroes. This is the ranking. This is the rewards. Uh, here we have weekly ones, seasonal ones. I think it's good because we're gonna have more gems in the game in total, more um, artifact pools and more speed ups also such as like legendary medals, right? Um, I like this um, feature which is, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's gonna get better and better like a warp it uh, feature in the game. It's a newest one and I'm pretty excited that maybe they are going to add more rankings which means there will be more uh, rewards for, for this uh, new feature, right? Um, on the left side, we have uh, one really, really important um, click, which is called defense. Here, you can actually 
uh, do your formation how you want to be fighting against other uh, players and whenever you are not playing the champions tournament of champions uh, whenever other players are going to attack you this will be your uh, defensive build up where you can defend yourself to not lose some points and actually uh, gather more right um, that's my generally my fighting not not like fighting I just manually automatically put these uh, hero pairs I did not uh, tried my best in terms of hero pairs I'm just explaining the uh, gameplay of the tournament of champions in general I uh, try to have at least one infantry I guess maybe uh, you want to have five infantry, I don't know, depending on your playstyle. Uh, try to configure this defensive formation however you want. Uh, maybe you want five marksmen, maybe you want five mages, depending on your gameplay. Or maybe you just go, maybe you are just going to go for the strongest hero pairs and strongest uh, legions that you are currently having in PvP. Uh, you can actually put them here. So what's the important about this defense is that whenever you're offline and somebody will attack you, you will have your defensive formation re ready and saved. And that will be like maybe you will get some more points if you will defend yourself against the intruder or uh, if you are going to lose, you are going to lose some points. Uh, points are important for the ranking, I guess. Higher points you are going to have higher ranking you should have and yeah like what else here that's pretty interesting arena right here we are standing and like, i guess enemy will be from the left side and whoever wins uh, is getting some rewards and they are getting some uh, points which uh, in the end of the weeks and in the end of the season will generate some important currencies in the game uh, and yeah, like try to configure the uh, defensive formation however you want and yeah, like try to have fun with this new feature. Um, what else we have in terms of UI here is that we have a history. Uh, you can actually see my, your attacks, your defense. I guess I defended pretty well against this guy. And what's the most important? Of course, gameplay. Let's try to play uh, three matches because you are going to have three matches uh, I'd see every single reset, right? And let's try to understand uh, what we are going to do. I guess this is like these three, um, like uh, I, I, I'm choosing myself who I want to attack three possible uh, options. And uh, let's choose like first one and let's try out. Maybe we are going to win this battle, right? Um, same again, I guess this is his uh, defensive formation, uh, that's my attacking formation, and let's see how the gameplay actually looks. I guess I'm not doing anything, I'm just a uh, weaver who is watching the gameplay of this fight, and I'm just hoping that my legions are going to win and we will be victorious. Uh, in terms of pure power here, we can see that he has a higher power units. Um, if we're gonna compare it to mine, 90 million and I have 60 million. Uh, and yeah, it's it actually, uh, I, I can actually see that the, he's winning, he or she. Um, well, my infantry is defending pretty nice, but uh, I think I destroyed his cavalry. Uh, let's hope that we are going to do things about his infantry, I, I guess. I'm simply winning because I have a good tactics, right? I have one tank and uh, four damage dealers, and unfortunately his tank was not uh, tanky enough to tank my uh, like offensive legion types, right? So yeah, I guess we defeated two hero pair. There is also left three. It's a five versus five gameplay, and actually it's quite fun. I really like the theme of the arena. Um, I can see that the work has been done by the developers of the game or maybe just artists. I'm not sure in terms of structure of the uh, gaming company, right? Uh, okay, finally he defeated my two army. I guess his main power was inside Lilia. Um, and I, Lilia and Welin, I guess, and that was the main uh, the difference maker in this fight because these two mage legions just destroyed all of my legions, so I guess we are not going to be victorious in this fight, um, alright? Let's see if we are going to get any rewards whenever we are defeated or only it happens whenever you are winning, right? And it's also pretty interesting. Uh, well, it's unfortunate that my first match was the defeat uh, with you guys, but I will try my best to win the next one. Uh, defeat, we still got some rewards for challenging and I think I'm gonna continue and try to win at least one 
uh, one, right? Yeah, I think this one should be a victory, no matter what. Uh, he has a frontline uh, offensive units, and let's try to uh, win, and let's try to see how what kind of rewards we are going to get whenever you are winning, right? The difference is actually 2 million power, and his cavalry actually did something amazing. <laughs> He just avoided my infantry and went straight up to my mages, I guess, yeah. Um, the bots are pretty smart in terms of fights here, but I think at the end of the day, uh, whoever has more power, whoever has more powerful hero powers and the uh, tier 5 units and the research done, that's the players who are going to be winners of the seasonal or weekly um, challenges of the this tournament right that's generally how i see it but it's in general pretty fun to have something like this in the game additional thing what you are going to do at the reset at every day because i think reset is one of the most fun um moments of the daily gaming of call of dragons because that's the moment you are getting a lot of rewards uh, daily quests uh, maybe some new event is going to start and i think in general events are most fun activity in Call of Dragons. I think we are going to win and this one uh, if uh, uh, his Fragar is not going to go crazy and defeat all my legions but I think this one should be uh, the correct fight for me in terms of winning and let's see what kind of rewards we are going to get uh, from this uh, uh, match because last time we lost and we still had some uh, rewards in terms of challenging right and right now it's important to see what kind of rewards we're gonna get by the victory i guess like pretty same um, most important thing here was that i get i got a new rank which is silver tool which means i got the wango rewards uh some gems and the yeah, some additional points and some challenging rewards which we still got um while we lost right and the last time i want to show you guys that you can actually skip the fight and you can just see the result uh, if you are bored and you don't want to try to watch every single match here is a skip bat um, button whenever you're gonna click on this skip button and click on the start it automatically will see, give us the chance to see the result and you can actually see who which legions were defeated and which one were win winners right so you won't gonna waste some time just watching the gameplay of the fights maybe you are in a hurry and you want to see the result as, my, as soon as possible we have that one click which uh, gives us the chance to do everything the 10 times faster right uh, so that's like main gameplay and main idea behind tournament of champions um, we need to say that it's a newest feature in the game um, let's say that it's kind of a beta version because i think every single new update will bring us some new uh, things about tournament of champions i think i hope that's how the Call of Dragons have been progressing throughout the year uh, whenever new features are added to the game the next updates and next updates are getting uh, more and more stuff inside those features right and of course these rules uh, just give us the ability to see where and what kind of uh, legion types are good against uh, in what kind of formations right um, as always give me your ideas what do you think about this feature you like it you don't like it if you like it what what do you like it in this if not say that too in comment section and as always uh, if you like the video press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game i wish everybody amazing day morning and night we are going to see each other very very soon Bye-bye and good luck.